Hello everybody, today's video is a look at all my budget planning stuff and I'll just, um, from the haul that I recently did from the washing gang, we still need to go through the planner companion accessory pack for budgeting. I'll also then do like another flip through the planner if you missed it. And I'll also go through as well um, what I'm currently doing with all my budget stuff. And yeah, we'll work out if we need anything to set my new planner up and when I'm going to be starting it. Just discuss all that kind of stuff with you all. Um, yeah, so first let's, let's have a look at what's inside the companion accessory pack for girls just want to have fun and we'll see what's in here on the back there's a bit of a picture diagram which I showed you in the haul but we'll actually take a open look today sorry about the plastic sound so this is pack is um to the budget stuff First up, we've got this bracelet. It says, wear this bracelet as a reminder to be intentional with your spending and conscious of where your money goes. And it's got like the cute little heart symbol that the happy planner has. Um, yeah, so I'll definitely be wearing this because um, one of my goals with my word of the year is to think about where my money is going, um, like what I'm spending it on, really thinking about, um, you know, what the purpose of uh, everything is, um, and obviously, yeah, to be more intentional with my spending and where it all goes, um, hence all this planner stuff, um, yeah, so I'll definitely be wearing that. What else do we have in here? So that's just the back part. Put that to the side. So it comes in this black folder with some hollow stuff on it. Um, and it says girls just want to have fun. So you can always just keep it in this folder. Um, and we'll have a look and see what's going on. So you've got a pocket here with a bunch of stuff and a side pocket with a bunch of stuff. Let's start with this side. And we'll see what's in there. That's everything, yep. So the first thing we have, now this is like a bit thicker paper, it's not normal paper. So a bit cardboardish, um, probably like scrapbooking paper thickness, I guess you could say. So we've got this particular page here. It's got three stars up here, so you could have like goals, I guess, or whatever. <laughs> and then there's this little bit here that says motivation that goes to the purple bit. So yeah, I would say it's for goals and then what? your motivation is for the goals. On this side you have a savings jar and it's got a few columns too so your totals on that side and your amount saves here. So um, for me that's a couple of columns you know you could use it for a couple of years instead of just one which is good. I um, I had big intentions at the start of the year to put away some savings towards some things and have some sinking funds and things. And I really, really need to focus on that a lot more. Like I'm doing well with, you know, everything else. I just need to jump into that more. So that will be good for that. This one here. It says goals up the top of the page. Um, so that's your short, short term goal and your long term goal. And then on the bottom it says I can and I will. 
and it's sort of in chat format too, which is pretty cool. Um, and then on the back of that one, we've got saving for one, two, three, four, and what your inspiration is. So that'll be good because then you can have these two close by and yeah, do that. So I'll probably definitely put those in the planner. This here is a pocket, it says very important. And then the same on the other side. Not sure if I'll use the pocket. I might for receipts because I like to keep receipts for um, the time frame that I budget, which is a fortnight. Um, but of course they accumulate in your purse and whatever. So um, I might use that for receipts. We'll see. And then this one is a probably something you can write on. So you've got your weekly expenses, uh, weekly bills and needs and wants for the week. And then on the back you've got like a jot it down area and a don't forget area. I, to be honest, I probably won't use this page, but I will keep it um, for now. Um, depending on how the plan is set out, because I like to, on paper, do my expenses for the fortnight rather than the week, just with how my payments work and stuff like that. So, but I will keep it. It is a good idea. Even, even to, you know, break it down in the week. So that's on that side. Then we have this side. Huge pile of stuff. I'm not getting it all either. We've got heaps of stuff in here, by the way. Okay, so this is the exciting bit. This is like the envelope bit. So it's per um, punch to fit into Happy Planner classic size. And this one says Know Your Worth. I'm just wondering how they open. Are they open on the side? So, um, I have a planner set up with, um, plastic zip inserts for my cash envelopes, but, um, when I start all my cash envelope stuff again, I can keep these in, like, a classic sized, um, note cover or something like that, if because it'll probably make my budget planner a bit bulky and use them for my like sinking fund things or my saving challenges or something like that. So that's my plan with these. Um, and I will, with my cash envelope stuff at the moment, it's kind of on hold because of all this COVID stuff. Um, no one's like accepting cash at the moment. So um, using that within my budget planning at the moment is kind of on hold. <laughs> so that's one of them. And then this is another one. Um, small progress is still progress, definitely. If not then, if not now, then when. And mindset, I can and I will. So you get four envelopes, which is probably a plenty for going out and about. Because you can go like groceries, fuel, eating out, something. <laughs> um, yeah. So, um, with mine, I'll probably do what I just mentioned. Um, and when I set it up, I'll set it up with you guys, of course. So, what do we have here? We've got some pages. This, this one's one page. So, this is financial goals for the year. And you can put the year up the top. Next month, next quarter, next six months, and for the full year. 
And then on the back, you've got like a vision map. One year, two years, five years, ten years. Which is pretty good because usually, um, you know, you don't focus on the ahead a lot. Well, I don't anyway at the moment. Um, these pages here are like a bill schedule. So you can look ahead with all your bills. Um, and they're in like monthly formats. You get two on each page and I think they're double backed. Yeah, so you get two, four, six, eight, ten, a year's worth. Not sure if I'll use these because I usually use monthly spreads in, in like my actual budget planner for bills. Um, so I might not use those to be honest. Um, there is a debt repayment thing in here. So you can um, section it, it's sectioned off into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 accounts or 8 debts, um, which is a good idea. Um, and yeah, you've got each month there, what you begin at at the start of the year and end at, at the start of the year. So that's a good one to have. I'll probably slip that in somewhere. This one is a savings tracker. What you're saving for up the top and then um, date deposit balances. And then the same on the back. So you get it for full lots of savings. So that would be good to have after your savings goal area. And then you've got no spend trackers it looks like um so what month you're doing your no spend on um and what you're not spending it on so obviously as a planner it's a lot of the times my no spends are on planner items and i think i'm gonna have to go on one um very very soon <laughs> either june or july I don't have to go into one because <laughs> um, I've got a lot of planners to set up. I'll probably make it July because they all start in July and I'll probably need stuff up until then. Um, but yeah, definitely a nice spend month coming up. And I have done a nice spend month. Um, I can't remember which month it was. I think it was February. Yeah, it was probably February and I... Or January. One of those months. And I survived it. It was it was quite easy. Like it was just like planner stuff. Um, but I found because there was no spending on one focus of planning stuff. I was thinking more about other areas as well. Um, yeah. So yeah, definitely no spend trackers will be used and then we have a budget review on one page income expenses and savings for like all your months of the year there's some a section down there for whatever and then a notes bit very beautiful rainbow notes page on the back um this is probably good actually especially for me because i run a business so, um, I can, like, tally up my income for each month, expenses and savings, um, or I can, because I get, um, Centrelink as well, because in holidays I don't work with my business, and at the moment it's declined a lot, so I can maybe do it with just Centrelink or something or both I'm not sure have a think about this one and then this page these pages here are the same yeah so this one here you've got notes and things you've got like colored squares on the sides and then you've got 
on the right section. Then on the back, a graph, which is really good because add budget each fortnight, as I said. And I usually use like dot grid or graph paper, so I can use that, or I can even use like the squares for each area and then just write on there. How many pages are there of these? There's one, two. Three, four, five. There's only ten pages, but you could easily do like one Fortnite on the color side, one on the other side, and easily slip in other note pages from somewhere. I've got a lot. Um, yeah, so probably use quite a lot of it. Maybe t a couple of things I said I wasn't sure about and stuff like that. But majority of it I will insert into the planner from the pack, definitely. Um, as you may have noticed, I haven't got the sticker book. And the reason why I didn't get the sticker book is because... I sort of have set stickers that I already use at the moment. Um, so I'd, for a start, I'd want to use all those up and sort of use. Sorry, I'm just trying to. And sort of, um, you know, use the same stickers as I'm currently using. So, um, yeah. So yeah, with these, I'll be setting up like a classic notebook size because I do know from a video I watched that they're perfect for in there. So stay tuned for that. And then the rest of the inserts will pop into my planner, of course. So the, that was the, um, the pack, companion pack. I was going to say comparison. A good resource to have with the planner. So next I'm going to do another walkthrough of the planner and then I'll go into what I've previously been using and, and what's going on. <laughs> and then um, I'll see how we go time-wise. But um, yeah, we might... Like, I'll at least let you know when I'm going to be starting in this one and ask if you guys want to join me as I plan, like, my finances. Um, I can give you, like, the formats and things like that. Um, and if I decorate and stuff like that. But, um, and of course, like, putting things together and in the planner and everything like that. But there is one thing that I won't do budget planning wise and that is to give like figures out and stuff like that. I just think it's a personal thing and like a private thing as well. <laughs> um, that's just my personal opinion. Um, yeah. But it might slip up one day. <laughs> Anyway, this is the gorgeous planner here. I've been waiting for it to be back in stock for a long time. So I've been very patient and I temporarily set up something which I'll show you in a moment. But we'll have a flip through of this first. And I'll get all this stuff off as well. Because we won't need it. So it's a specific budget planner and it's undated for 12 months. I'll also take back one off while we're here. I, um, at first I didn't really focus a lot on my finances. Um, I was very slack in that department, I must say. But as I've grown up a lot and I'm now in my 
birdies and you know you gotta think of your future and you gotta track things a lot and everything um to me it is now an important um topic <laughs> i guess you could say yeah so let's have a look it's a really really gorgeous planner by the way they this on it are plastic they're silver and they go really well because there's like a hollow aspect to the planner i'll just do a bit of a wiggle and hopefully you can see but the girls just want to have fun and then the shapes have like a hollow aspect it's really cool in person <laughs> um yeah then we have the welcome which comes in all the happy planner stuff and the inside of the cover you've got your months for your tabs because it's undated so obviously i'll keep that in there you can pop either your name in there or the financial year that you're using it for um my current setup goes to the end of june and it's going to work really really perfect actually because i can start this in the new financial year which is july so that is my plan <laughs> to go within the new financial year so july 2020 to yeah the end of the financial year um, so I will probably just, instead of putting my name, because I know it's mine, I'll probably just put the year in there. You then have the start of your month. So on the left you have what the month is. Um, you've got some goals in that bit. You've got, don't forget this month. Um, an unexpected spends so something might come up that you didn't budget for so you can pop it all into there which is good because things do come up so all these dividers are undated so in a month so you need to do all that yourself this one says the grass is green where you water it then you've got your monthly spread. Um, plan a happy life is what it says around the dollar sign there. And it's just got a bit of a rainbow because that's the feel of the planner. Um, the month starts on Sunday and goes through to Saturday. But you can easily change that with days of the week covers. Um, and then of course you need to numbers to date it. Um, then this page you've got the month of your income, um, a totals of income expenses and what you have left. What I'm finding at the moment is that I do what I have left when I budget because I pre-budget and make sure I can cover everything for the full time. But I always forget to like write oh this is how much I have left at the end of the fortnight or month or whatever so that's a good thing then you've got your date your bills for the month what it's for amount and like a tick off color when you paid it you've got your savings tracker what the activity is um where it's going and then like an end balance um then you've got accounts and debt section you've got a um challenge up here it says monthly budget challenge no spend try only to spend on necessaries for at least one week during the month um and then like a section to report how you went um and i think on each month the challenges are different too um, as I said, I was going to do a month, but they've suggested a challenge for a week, and yeah, that's fine with me, I can do that. <laughs> the way I've been going, though, um, <laughs> as you can see by all my new things happening, um, yeah, I'm going to have to slow down and stop. There's just so many things out there, 
and um, the system, planning system that I had, a lot of my things weren't working, all those things like this where I've been waiting for like ever for, so I had to sort of grab them and yeah, too many new things. <laughs> Um, then you've got like weekly expenses on these two pages. On the bottom it says, where do I deserve a gold star? Is there anything I can do better? So there's like a valuation each week, which is really, really good. Um, the current thing that I've got, there's only evaluations at the end of each month. These here have like specific things already um groceries eating out are two areas that i do entertainment gas and shopping trip i probably would stick out or write it out and put something else um yeah but i know it's to give you idea an idea they may have should have maybe you know did on just one rather than all the papers, to be honest. But that's all right. Sometimes you need a guide. So you get all those, well, for a month, and then you get some graph paper, and then you go into your next month, which is the same setup except for your divider. Um, this one says, thinking positively isn't about expecting the best to happen every time, but accepting that whatever happens is the best thing for that moment. And then it goes into your other stuff. So I'll just flip dividers. Um, sometimes you win, sometimes you learn. Very true. Your future is super bright. I trust the next chapter because I know the author. This one's just your pretty hollow <laughs> pattern. It costs zero dollars to be grateful for what you already have. So, so true. Start where you are and use what you have. Do what you can. Exactly. So just start from now. Awesome statement. Life is tough, but so are you. A little chat thing here. To your bestie girls night. Let's do girls night in. Yay, see you soon. Because, yeah, you can always do social nights. Without spending a fortune or social days. Um, not sure what it's like everywhere else, but in Queensland things are reducing so we can hang out with people now and stuff, which is really good, even though I haven't gotten to be able to do that with other stuff going on <laughs> and been busy, but you know, the option is there now, which is good. And we can go to people's houses and stuff, have picnics, yeah. Anyway, back to budgeting. <laughs> it's okay to make mistakes, have a bad day, and do what's best for you. Yeah, it happens. Learn how to see the possibility, not the problem. So that's your 12 months, and then we've got just the back of your planner. It's a really good planner, actually. Really good. Okay, I know this video is getting on a bit, so I'll leave for a separate video um, me setting things up um, in this one. So me adding things in from the companion pack and labeling the months and dates of the first few months and stuff. And me putting in the cash envelopes from the companion in a classic size note cover and stuff like that. So I'll do all that in a separate video. To end off though, I will explain what I have been doing with my budgeting. Um, so you can get an idea of where things are coming from. 
Um, but if you don't want to hang around for that, that's absolutely fine. <laughs> so, um, I previously mentioned that I was doing cash envelope system. Um, sorry, I was just grabbing something and that it was all on hold at the moment. What I do first is I use this to plan out my month of finances and my fortnightly budgets. And each fortnight before I re-budget for the fortnight, I go to my follow-up cash envelope system. And I go through that, see what's in each area, um, to make yeah the budgeting flow on and so forth from from all of that. So this is what I usually use, but not currently. <laughs> but it's a actually a Kiki K planner, which is pastel size, and it's just a zip planner. And I use this usually as my purse, <laughs> but not at the moment. <laughs> um, so what I usually do is I put all any receipts back here. I've usually got like my flybys card um, and other cards that I need handy there. And I just slip some other things in there that I need. Um, I then have some Ziploc pockets in here so the one at the front I just have for like change or if I know that I'm grocery shopping or getting petrol or something I can go to that particular pocket and bring the money forward <laughs> so it's like super handy up the front and I'm not fiddling through the whole thing it's just quicker when you're in lines and stuff um, these I got from Tender Designs. I'm sure there's other places though that you can get them. This one isn't labelled, um, because it's for what I just mentioned. This one here is for MISC money. So, um, each week I sort of transfer the change from in here to back to the sections. Or if um, there's like coins, I mainly put the coins in the misc column. Um, I then have some card slots, usually my license and um, bank cards and all that go into there. So I have four of those. I um, found these at an op shop actually, so I have no idea from where they're from. And then we go into my sections, which is groceries, petrol, eating out, rent, because I take my rent out into cash before I give it to my mum. Um, I have a section for the post office and a section for, like, social activities that you need to pay for. It's very empty at the moment, I know. Um of all this COVID stuff. Um, I did do a video on it previously on my channel where I got money from the bank and then I was separating it all and all that jazz. So if you want to check that out, um, just do a flip back. And of course when I start it back up again, I'll do a fresh new video on it all. Um... But at the moment, I'm just using like a normal pass where you've got your, like your cash section, your card section, etc. Um, because a lot of people aren't accepting cash out there. Um, but this is what I do, like the figure I work in, the written work. Um, it was just a classic size notebook from the Happy Planner, of course. Um, it does look quite chunky because there's um, budget inserts in there that I got um, yeah but in general like the cover and the rings and stuff this I should say not rings are from a classic planner notebook which was graft um, yeah 
and then I put in the budget planner pack which was a I think it's six months one two three four yeah six months pack of undated inserts so I put that in and then at the back of each section I just put some of the paper that was in the actual notebook behind the inserts for my fortnightly budget that I do up. Um, yeah, so I've just, as you can see, put the year on there. I won't show you inside too much, but I can show you the last month, which is for June. So I will finish this off and then, um, I will finish this off and then I will um, move into my new stuff. So this one here, you've got like an undated month as well. So I had to put like the month on it and the dates on it and stuff like that. Um, you can see I've got my um, last installment for my afterpay already on here. Um, and then the, it's very similar inserts, but a little bit different. Um, so you've got like payment, a bill payment page, a couple of those. You've got expense tracker pages, which is an area I need to focus on as well. I do it some weeks and then other weeks because I'm so busy, I just don't do it. <laughs> Um, yeah, I need to just get in the habit more. Um, this one has like a monthly evaluation page, whereas the new one has like a weekly evaluation. And then it has like a month at a glance page, which I honestly don't use because I don't have all the sections on here. And then, yeah, I budget fortnightly because that's how I get paid, and then I've just got, like, each section of that I need to budget for, all the amounts, and I do the calculations and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'll finish this off, and then July start all the new stuff, which I'm looking forward to. Um, yeah. And I'll wear the bracelet and stuff. But yeah, that is everything and a bit of a summary of my budget stuff. Um, I'm not sure when I'll be able to use cash envelopes again. At the moment, I've just got to do the best we can with the situation because I do like using cash envelopes. Um, it's a really good system to have. And with the new ones in the companion pack, um, like if I do like a five dollar challenge or something, and each week or fortnight I put budget, I can if I have like five dollar notes, I can do that challenge or something like that. Um, but for now, it's all digital tool and stuff like that. So yeah, but we can still plan things properly and stick to budget and. Yeah, um, I need to, yeah, look at things that I'm saving for, sinking funds and all that sort of stuff a bit more in depth. Um, yeah, but apart from that, I'm doing pretty good with my budgeting. You can see me, I never used to do it. Um, obviously spending is a big problem of mine, as you would know from purchases. Um... Yeah, but anyway, this concludes this video, um, so what I'll do is I'll do a video soon, not sure, 100% sure when it will be, but I'll set up, um, like, the monthly tabs and, um, do, like, a month dated with you and, um, Map out what I can in my month 
um, with what I do in my monthly spread and stuff. And um, what I'm going to add in here from all the inserts and stuff and where I'm going to put them and stuff like that. So that is the plan. <laughs> but I hope you've all enjoyed this video. It's been a good one to film. And I apologise for the length of it. <laughs> um, but sometimes they just have to go for a long period of time, don't they? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to continue with my day and... Um, Happy planning, everybody.